What's good, everybody? Shout out to my DV fam and my subscribers, man, and the One Pride Riders, man. It's your boy D Chase. I'm coming back with another video. I know I'm extra late. I know I'm a day late. I was supposed to do this video yesterday, but as y'all know, um, I didn't do a preview for this team, these teams, um, this past week. And because I just started a new job, man, and I'm um, dealing with the training, so I'm trying to get hands-on training and um, finish up my training so I can be out there in the field for real. Um, but beyond that, I'm going to get into it because I didn't do a preview. So I'm only doing a review for this one, which sucks. I'm going to be on my previews lately. I might do one um, tomorrow morning. So um, I'm going to get into this. I'm going to do the report card too. So um, we took on a Jacksonville Jaguars um, in Jacksonville this past Sunday. And I'm going to tell you like this. The offense clicked on all cylinders. The defense clicked on all cylinders. Um... Now, key takeaways I take away from the offense a little bit is um there was a lot of drop passes. Um, Stafford was throwing to and he wasn't mis he wasn't miscuing them or nothing. He was dead on a, a lot of them. Um, Kenny G dropped one. Um, Swift dropped one. Hawkinson dropped one. Marvin dropped one. It was a lot of drops, man. Um, even Adrian Peterson dropped one. So it, it was it was a lot of drops, but um they picked it up. And they ran the ball more, which we all wanted them to do this whole season. I feel like if they would have ran the ball more this whole season, we would probably be like, the record would probably be reversed, man. We would probably be like either 4-1 and one or we'd be 3-1. and one. Or no, we'd be 3-2, and two, I'm sorry. But um, defense, they looked solid. Um, there was a lot of near nearly picks. Um... There was a lot of near, nearly picks. There were there was one pick. Um, uh, what's his name? Um, what's his name? Um, Hammond. He picked up. Um, he he did. He got a pick. That was great. Um, they quarterback looked at rattle. We sent four rushes at the quarterback. He was lost out there. He didn't know what to do. Um, one play he took it into his own hands when he was in the red zone. He um, ran in for a touchdown, which we knew that was gonna happen. Um, all did, we played man-to-man -man coverage out there, as you can see, a lot of a lot of their players was tied up, so the quarterback had no choice. He either had to get rid of the ball or try to make the play himself, which that didn't go too well. Stafford wasn't sacked on offense, which was great. Um, he did throw a pick, but I'm a, I'm like King because I watched every all my DVE um, people video. Um, that pick I don't count, so I'm not gonna count that pick six because it was tipped and a lot of tip balls. It's a very very few lucky that get a pick. We've had a couple of when it was tipped and then somebody picked it off, but that was when the ball was further out. This ball was on the line. This guy tipped it off the line, so. You know, and for and for a, a defensive line to pick it, you know that's very very slim. So we ain't gonna count that. Um, um game ball, I'm gonna give it to um De uh, DeAndre Swift. DeAndre Swift did an amazing job, man. Went 14 carries for 116 yards with two TDs. He's the first running back to do that since Barry, and we know how long that's been. You know how many running backs we have been through. Throughout the years, man, I ain't even finna sit here and try to name them all because I'll be all day trying to name them all. I mean, I'm talking about from Barry to to um, Stewart to um, to Bass to uh, Dula. Um, who else? Well, we done had a lot of them. Bush, we done had a lot, man. And none of them has did what this young man has did. I mean, I'm pretty sure Bush did in his, his rookie season, but... This kid Swift gonna have a breakout season. Um, I I feel like, excuse me, I feel like Hawkinson's gonna have a breakout season, which he was supposed to have his rookie first rookie season. I mean first rookie year. Um, Swift gonna have a breakout season. Um, who else? If they if they would involve Cephas, man, they need to involve Cephas, man. He's another dynamic weapon that could be a dynamic weapon. Um, they are using their tight ends, which I like. They're using their run game, which I like. I love it. Um, keep up the good work because um but I st this is why I'm really not am I happy about the win 
a win's a win at the end of the day. But I'ma have to I'ma have to go with no I'm not happy about the win. And the reason why. And no is not to say, oh, we should have lost so they could fire Matt, because we know Lions is not gonna fire Matt. No, at all. No. They're gonna let him play his whole con coach his whole contract out. And then after that, then they're gonna figure out what they're gonna do with him. Um, this has worked at every Lions coach staff. Um they normally give you three years and then the fourth if you know a fourth and so on if the team approves or even goes deeper into the playoffs or even makes Super Bowl. So um I'm not happy because this is why I'm not happy. This is the real reason. We beat up on a basically the Jacksonville Jaguars was like a defenseless cat. We just beat on the defenseless cat. That was all. They was all banged up and hurt. Um, two of their players that remain from the sack nation that they had just a mere few years ago are all going except for the two members that was on their team now, and they are hurt. So there you go. You took your pressure off our quarterback a little bit because they out. Um, he ain't had to worry. Stafford looked it comfortable. Um, it's one play he had to run out because all the men was covered up. They was playing man to man, so he had to run out. But that's fine. Um, we want to see Matt more mobile. If a plays, if he sees a play broken up up the field, then that way he can. But I noticed too, he always looks for a short pass that could gain. So, like, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you like this: If Matt Patricia decides on throwing screens and shit and short passes, have the uh, run, have DeAndre Swift out there. But if you really on the red zone, if you're in the red zone and you're trying to get a touchdown, please run Peterson. I ain't saying don't run Swift because Swift did a nice job of jumping on Swift. Knew better. He like, I'm going to jump and get this touchdown. I like that. Um, that's why he gets the game ball. He came out and did his thing. Offense did their thing. And I'm going I'm to do the report cards right now before this video. I'll get further into it. The offense, I'm going to start. No, first I'm going to start with the special teams. Special teams, A+, and they stayed at A+. Plus. Reason why, they put that ball at, at parts of the field where Jacksonville couldn't get out. Um, so that was good. Um, offense started off as with the A, but they gained the A plus because they kept running the ball, and this is why they got an A plus. They kept running the ball, and then they ran them tired. And then once they knew they was tired, they started doing the, the throw. And when they was throwing the ball, as you can see, we was hitting a lot of receivers because they was tired. They not gonna be trying to flare around for a ball to get to a guy that's already gonna possibly get the ball and take off and get another 15 to 20 yards. No. Um, Defense started off with a B plus, no, an A minus, and then they they got an A plus at the end. Even though they was tired, they held this team to, what was it, two field goals and a touchdown, which I don't mind at it all. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, there you go. I don't mind at it all. Um, actually, no. A field goal and two touchdowns. They just missed the two conversion because I can't believe Jacksonville tried to go for it. But... And, you know, when it's that time, you got to put it all on the line, especially if it's in the fourth quarter. Um, what else? Um, the coaching, Matt Patricia still gets a fucking F. I don't care. Everybody can say, oh, he couldn't. No, he didn't coach that game. Darrell Bevel did, and he did great. Um, defense, that guy did great, and I already can tell you what happened. Matt Patricia shut the fuck up and let the fucking offensive defensive coordinators do their job. And that's what he should be doing anyway. Only time he should chime in and shit is if he see the plays that they're doing not working. Then he has an opportunity to say, look, this game's still a game. I'm going to start taking over the plays that go out. But he don't do, he don't know what the hell he's doing. He should have stayed a defensive coordinator, which he sucked at that. So, you know, um, but overall, um, I want to see them get to do a real challenge. And I believe... Atlanta gonna be a real challenge. Um, Julio Jones is gonna be a problem. Um, who else? Um, I don't think Matt Ryan gonna be a problem. If we send the four men at him like we did at Gardner, um, Matt. But let's let's be. We is a possibility we could really beat Atlanta because. Matt Ryan has fallen off, fallen off the last since the, I'm gonna say since the Super Bowl loss, he's fallen off. He's not really been producing numbers like he's supposed to. He has not um 
he has not really um, gotten it together. He, I, I, I think it's a mental situation with him. He's here. I mean, that Super Bowl really messed him up because they was there. They was at the big dance and they were leading the big dance, and then they stopped doing. They stopped running the ball, and that call. They they relied on his arm when they didn't need to, and um, Patriots picked that up and destroyed him on that. So I mean, I know he's still going off that man he's still upset about the super bowl loss but you got to get that out your head like one thing i respect about deandre swift is yeah he dropped that pass that could have won us the first game of the year against the bears but he didn't thrive on it he didn't he didn't dwell on it well i, I ain't mean to say he didn't thrive on it. he didn't dwell off of it. he didn't oh, 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 i messed up that pass he 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 thought about it asia peterson talked to him about it a lot of the teammates talked to him about it they told him get that shit out your head, keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? Mistakes like that happen. You got to get over that mistake and move on. And that's what he did. And as you can see, he's playing his greatest football ever. So, um, I'm gonna make a preview for that. And you know, I'm gonna definitely make a review for that. But I'm gonna get up out of here, man. Um, uh, right down in my comments, man. I want to hear y'all um thoughts on this game, man. Hit the like button for your boy. You know what I'm saying? And definitely, if you're new to this channel, if you come across my video and you're new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. Hit that subscription, man. And definitely hit that bell so you can know when these videos pop out, when they come up. Because I'll be lacing them. Um, I got a, easy, I got a work schedule that's kind of easy, so I'll be able to do that. So I'm going to get up out of here, man. This your boy, D-Chase, man. Peace and salute.